Hi everyone, um, in this video for Math 2400, uh, we'll talk about how to encrypt a message. Okay, so let's just remember, um, in the last video we saw how Bob generated his public key and private key, and now uh, Bob has published his public key that anyone could find. And now Alice wants to send him a message securely. Okay, so Alice has an integer m that she wants to send to Bob. Okay. Um, if she just sends plain m, then Eve will see it. That's not good. Um, this is something that Alice wants Bob only Bob to know. Okay. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, in this video, I'm just going to describe, uh, you know, what we are, like the algorithm. Uh, in the fourth video, we'll we'll discuss like, you know, why, what, what, how is it secure? At least roughly, we'll discuss how how secure it is. Okay. So let's see. We we have a. Uh, we're, we are Alice now, so we are given an integer m, and our, our and we want to describe how to compute c. Okay, and we're also given an an e. And we know that n is the product of two primes, and e is co-prime with the with um, phi of n, but we don't know what p and q are, and we don't know what phi of n is. Okay. Okay, and then what Alice does? Alice computes um, c, which is just m to the e mod n. Okay. And that's it. So then, um, then Alice sends C, and um, there's some discussion like we should have, um, like how how to do this, how to do this um, as fast as we can. We have a, a method um, called. I'll, I'll roughly describe it. it's just called square and multiply. I think someone mentioned this before in class, but let me just remind you. Or, or, or maybe I'll just describe it with an example. Actually, I think there's a few different ways that you can do it. But um, let's say we have, so like E practically might be like um, five digits or something like some pretty big number we want to compute m to the e. So you don't want to just do m times m times m e times. What we can do is write e and base, we can expand e and base 2. And let's just say that e is maybe like 2 to the 5th, no maybe bigger, like 2 to the 10th plus 2 to the 6th plus 2 cubed plus one or something. Okay. And then so we need to compute m to the e. We need to compute m to the two to the tenth times m to the two to the sixth times m to the two cubed um, times m. And how do we do that? I'll just roughly tell you. Um, you start with m, okay? And, and there's, I think there's two, like two ways to do it. You can go from left to right, or you can start from the right and go left. We'll start from the left. I'm not sure which is like more efficient space-wise, but it's okay. Don't, let's not worry about all that stuff, okay? Then we compute 
So this is step one, is just start with m. Then we'll compute m squared. We'll just take it. And like each time we're taking the previous thing and squaring it, or squaring it and multiplying by m. Okay. Then we take m squared and we just square it again. So we get m to the so m squared squared is m to the two to the power two. Okay, and then we square that, we get m to the two cubed. And then I want to square, so, so when I square m to the 2 squared, uh, I get m to the 2 squared times 2, which is m to the 2 cubed, I get this. And we'll square that, m to the 2 to the 4th, okay, and this is where we multiply by m, so we'll multiply by m. Okay, and, and this is actually coming from the um, binary expansion of this this uh, this number e. Is how do we write e in base two? Well, it's um, one in the two to the tens place, zero in the two to the ninths place, zero in the two to the eighth, zero in two to the seventh, one in two to the sixth. And then um, zero in the two to the fifth place, zero in two to the fourth place, one in the two cube place, zero in the two squared, zero in the two, one in the ones. Okay. So now we, um, so basically each time we see a one, we um, square and multiply by m, and each time we see a zero, we just square. Okay, so now we um, square. So we get m to the two to the fifth times m squared, and we get m to the two to the sixth, times n to the 2 squared, and then we square and then multiply by m. So we get m to the 2 to the 7th, times m to the 2 cubed, times m, then we square. m to the 2 to the 8th, times m to the 2 to the 4th, times m squared, then we square. m to the 2 to the 9th, times m to the 2 to the 5th, times m to the 2 squared, and then we square and multiply by m, Hey, look, that's um, that's what we wanted. That's m to the e. Okay, so um, this number two to the tenth is like a thousand something. So this is a pretty big number. Um, but um, but to find m, we only had to um, like do ten steps of square and multiply. Okay, in other words, we had to do like whatever e was, we had to do like um, log e operations to find um, the log base 2 of e operations to find c. Okay, so I'm going to stop the video there. Um, and in the next video we'll see like um, we'll see like how does Bob take the message C that Alice sends and recover M. Okay. Um, thanks for watching.